when I pull out of my house and I drive down my street, I should see the skyline of Calgary. And for those of you who have not been following, there are huge wild wildfires up here in northern Alberta. And they're bad in Calgary, but I can just imagine what they're like in Edmonton. So um, for everybody up there in, in the north who's being abandoned in their cities and losing um, their homes, it's, it's really unfortunate. And uh, if it's anything like what we're dealing with here, it's probably times 10. That's terrible. So my heart's out to you guys. Greetings, Nabooers. I got something kind of neat that I was just, I don't know, looking around on the internet and I came across this video, DigiSound uh, for the C64. And you know what? It was actually really interesting because I never knew how digital audio on a C64 or any 8-bit uh, micro worked before. So there turns out there's a bug where if you adjust the volume on the SID chip, it'll make a pop. And if you make that pop quick enough, then you can produce some digital audio. So I thought to myself, I wonder if anyone's ever done that with the AY38910. So I found this video, which also seemed to have a hackster um, post about it. And that's what you get. <laughs> Let's try it again. So I didn't think that was very impressive and I wondered, can I do better with the 8th Y3, essentially the same chip that he's using, but inside of our friendly old Nabu. I downloaded a WAV file of the Greetings Professor Falcon. So I have it here inside of my Audacity. Let's take a little listen. Okay, and then what I did is I, oh. <laughs> then I wrote a little program here that simply just um, takes the, here I'll show you, so I'll export it as an audio file and uncompressed, blah, 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 headerless and raw with an 8-bit unsigned. And then I wrote this program here which takes that raw audio file and processes it and then converts it into a byte array inside of my little program I have here. And this is our audio file. And then we build it. Once we're built, we just jump over to the NABU, type in DA, because that's the name of my fancy program for digital audio, and you get... <laughs> I noticed it was a little fast, so I slowed it down a little bit here. Let's try it again. That sounds a little more... More like it. So if you want to try it yourself, uh, just boot into Cloud CPM. Go to user area one and type in Nabu Talk. So I also decided, I wonder if I can play some music as well. So what I did is I took the REM Shiny Happy People. And I exported that as well. So why don't we do the same thing? <laughs> now I didn't do a good job of filter of uh, low pass and high pass filtering. I didn't really do anything to that. So we're just playing. the loop over and over again. But for spoken audio, anyway, I think it works pretty good. It's kind of cool. <laughs> okay, this is just a little short video because I thought it was kind of neat. Uh, and I wanted to see if it can be, be done with the, uh, with the NABU.